Hey, what's up, dudes? KublaiKhan here, and welcome back to Fallout for Automatron DLC. And I'm skipping the intro real quick because I mentioned last episode that things weren't really working. And so now I'm gonna try to refilm some of this, and uh, these guys just immediately start attacking from the save point that I had placed. So I'm just backing off, going after this attack, seeing if there's something about crossing a certain point that's actually causing the problem. Okay, it's hitting me. They're hitting me with cryo. Cry that's what that is. All right, so we've taken out all three. Find anything useful? Hmm, something new. Very good. Nice. Getting getting some good robot stuff for us. Quick old heal. Now, I'm gonna do a quick save, and we're gonna see if we hit this void of no return. Apparently, it's very common this problem. That there's, but the most common situation was that it was related to mods. So, if it's related to mods, I might walk right into this area and suddenly crash again. Okay, so far, so I have zero mods. So I shouldn't have the problem that was causing everybody else to have the problem. All right, I'm guessing we hit this again. Here. Okay, that works out all right. No more crashes at the moment. Sorry I didn't get to do the sweeping thing yet. Here, I have an idea. Hey, what's up dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome to Fallout 4 Automatron DLC, where we go and destroy lots of robots, do cool fly-throughs, and it matters to how our branding works, because yeah, it's just fun. How was that? You guys like that? I'm now flying into- oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, I feel a little bit more like we've uh, done a correct intro. So let's hop back in our suit. I feel like a no HUD playthrough would be really fun to do. I mean, it's a bit problematic because in a way it's like a lot of the benefits of the game are from the hub. And then you just have to keep checking your uh... Okay, so that was a straight up three or third person enter and it does not leave our helmet sticking through. Anyway. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that's really useful to see on the HUD. Besides health, you don't want to just keep checking your health all the time. So if there's some more indicators on the screen, like your vision getting blurred or something, that would work a little better. But since that doesn't happen, it's not quite the same. I don't know. I think it could be fun to do at one point. Picked up some more adhesive. I'm actually walking pretty slow. I think I might be overweight. Oh my goodness, I'm overweight. I love the way the robo brain looks at you when you're walking around, that little eye. I think that's really cool. Great touch. It is a little creepy though because that's a human brain in there. And it is possible to do that though, like create a biological computer. I mean, oh, I mean, not even is possible. That is what our brains are. They're just programmed in a way that they have that human aspect to them. Anywho, let's uh, continue through here. Junk bot ooh ha ha. Um, that's a Finding Nemo joke. Yeah, I'm full of those. Huh. Don't move. Maybe he won't see me. He sees me! Oh, wow. Good swing there, big guy. I'm gonna, uh, in incite him. To go after bad guys. Yeah! Go after bad guys. Ooh! Ooh! Cybermech swarm bot. Oh! Wow. We knocked him into next week. Uh, you're dead. Woo! That worked out really well. I like knocking robots into next week. That's fun. So our General Chow is really not be getting a lot. Where did the robot go? But yeah, our General Chow doesn't really look as cool, even though it has the, like, the lightning to it. In fact, it's just my arm that has the cool lightning on it right now. What's going on out here? It's just like general control information? Production control terminal. Got transferred over to run production control. These things on track down here. Interesting. Finally weeded out the last of the generals. So in ingrates. <laughs> Laser a bunch of good for nothing. She was supposed to be GA's pride and joy down here. General Atomics, I caught her hooking up the robo brains to one of our recon and trying to have a conversation with it, asking, was it sad and could it feel pain? <sighs> wow, this is interesting. Huh. <laughs> 
I, I think I, that's totally questions I would be asking the robot. Like, can you feel pain? Do you feel sad? Like, I, that matters to me. I think that kind of mindset is, ooh, back of duct tape. Man, they've got everything we need down here. I love it. But yeah, I, uh-oh. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just picking stuff up. There's, oh, they have a vase. That's very nice. All oh, right, fighting things. Gun, oh, you killed them for me. No worries, no worries, we got it. What happened to that one robot that we punched in the next week? Don't get cherry. Um, I would like to, ooh, I'm stuck. Okay. Third person, there we go. So, I guess you shot the, uh, the turret. Stim packs. Robot control station terminal. I guess this will allow us to gain access to uh, a couple robot brains. That's it. I'm getting really lucky with these. Single presses. I like it. Very cool. Uh, all right, here we got the turret control. We'll deactivate this. If this is protectron uh, control next, which it is, that should mean we can load our tape into here. All right, I should have robots for days now. Nice, robots for days. Are you guys, wait, you're not gonna hang out with me? Are you just walking around? Yeah, you're just, you're just walking around. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. If I incite it, will it just start attacking me too? Oh god, whoa! <laughs> Robot combat, and uh... Alright, well I guess I'll just leave him alone. Hold on, you know what? Let's test this, this thing real quick. Perfect. Ooh, sentry right arm. We can put that onto uh, Ada as well when we get to that point. Assuming we get to that point. Oh, I thought that was a robo brain. I mean, that would make sense if he just had robo brain, like, lanterns, lamps everywhere. Lanterns, god. Lamps everywhere. I mean, I feel like that's a character bit that would fit pretty well. So it makes sense that this would be here, but it's interesting, it, you cannot use it yet. Oh, because I'm in the power armor? Ooh, that's pretty sweet. So, I mean, it makes sense that we would then want to upgrade our robot for what we're about to be going up against. Uh, special mods, head, all right, so let's give her right, or her left arm, the sentry left arm. I need nuclear material, oh, bummer. Uh, well, I don't really need, uh, any, I, I want a range thing going on here. These are all melee damage increases, so they don't really provide what I want, but we can do some pretty sweet laser gun shooting things. I'm gonna do a level two science upgrade because we can get some pretty sweet mods on Ada right now for doing it. So I was still missing some things even though I got the science mod, but I wanna give you guys a look-see at what we have here with Ada. That's a flamer and that's a shocking arm. So I've now made her a close combat, fire breathing, higher increased armor because I mean, check out the armor on the robo brain. I mean, you can hardly even see the brain now. You have to like jump up to get a good look at it. And uh, so it's a very different type of robot now. I'm pretty excited to see how she does comparatively. I did like the idea of using the Mesmatron shooting lasers, but I now like the idea of a Mesmatron and then burning things. Since, I mean, it'll they'll be pretty fun to do. And it turns out that that microscope would have been really useful actually as I was building stuff on her. Damn it. Okay, well, this guy died with a Nuka Cola Quantum in hand and then Mr. Handy model. Oh, that's ooh, play. Lead engineer Thomas Harkin. So far, we're tracking on schedule for the latest RoboBrain milestone. Dr. Asante has assured me that the active time between memory wipes has been greatly increased. Hopefully, that will hold true in our latest live testing. The senior engineers also informed me that their latest assembly line adjustments have been completed early. I can only hope that means due diligence was still paid, and we're not going to be looking at a total system breakdown again. Other than that, I'm still worried about the... Uh, test subjects. Right now, we've got more than enough to meet our demand. But it's not like these things grow on trees. I wonder if the reason why that's so awkward is because it's this idea that they're just killing human beings and it's like these things don't grow on trees and now we're filling so many of them. And it's just like, how are we getting the robots? 
The brain on the above subjects started exhibiting physical changes, turned some kind of molded brown, and started to break down after only 12 hours in the solution. It was tainted with sulfuric acid runoff from the dome polishing compound. Fortunately, the subject is total loss. We'll have to just write it off as bad luck and switch polishing stuff immediately. Continue to have issues maintaining the cohesion between the neural interface and the spinal column nerve endings. The nerves reject the connections faster than we can rebind them. I know we're hoping to keep the spinal columns intact for the robot brains, but it's obviously not going to happen. Suggest we revert back to the original plan, the good old brain in a jar prototype. It will reduce the amount of life support subsystems significantly, as well as cut production time, almost by a third. That's interesting. First batch of robot brains back from testing, and they're a mess. Cracked domes, thrown treads, overloaded fusion piles, fried circuits. The particular issue is troubling, though. According to the field users, some of the robot brains are misinterpreting commands. The onboard brain seems to almost overthink these instructions to decide to rewrite them for efficiency. Exactly what's happening with Jezebel. These results in property damage or even a few civilian fatalities. I've gone over every square inch of the faulty units and we can't find a thing wrong with them. We're going to have to send this issue over. Interesting. One of them rolled off the line with a faulty voice when it speaks, it's speaking in reverse. This troubled me, so I had them shut down the line for almost eight hours while I checked the software for issues. Similar thorough diagnostic, didn't find any issues, so I gave them all clear. I have no idea what caused such a ridiculous issue, but if you ask me, I think one of the guys upstairs thought it would be funny. So they're basically showing these robots oh, to have more personality, which is kind of a scary, interesting concept. Uh, no, wait, one sec. I'm doing some slicing. So it see, Oh, this guy is not dying immediately. That's interesting. So it seems like the super sledge is still the better option in comparison. Ooh, you have a missile? Why did you have a missile? Like, seriously, what was your reasoning for that? All right, so jumping back to this Boston Bugle. I think it's interesting how well read so many of these places are. Ooh, it looks like we're coming into the assembly area. But before I do that, I'm gonna pick up some more stuff just so that we can have, ooh, pulse grenades are gonna be very useful in this upcoming event, isn't it? All right, grab some more of these. A little bit of stim packaroonies, that sounds good. Interesting. Uh oh. Got it. <laughs> this is, can I have attacked it from the side? Not really, no. This is an interesting looking place. I also like the idea that with the robo brains, they're trying to talk to them as if they were like living. Because I mean, I completely could see that being the case. But once you rewrite it, it's not as alive. But it turns out what they're talking, they're saying is that in the lore of Fallout, that these robo brains actually have turned out to be kind of maintaining a uh, an unwritable bit of like just personality. I mean, which is an interesting idea of like when somebody creates a particular ooh, stuff, <gasps> duct tape. Like if somebody creates a particular, I guess, computer program that allows you to build other AI constructs, but because you don't remove the previous AI constructs that were related to it initially, it continues to have the same behavioral aspects that were sort of primal. In fact, that's actually very human of a thing, so that would work with robo-brains. Like when there are people who receive serious head trauma, some of the first abilities that come back naturally are cuss words. Like if the person loses the ability to speak, you'll start cussing first. And the reason why that is, is because cuss words, ooh, that's a weird looking dude, is because, all right, so two hits still, is because cuss words are deep in the primal brain because they're bad to use, right? So it's like, ooh, I'm in trouble for using this word. So I get to this point where, no, oh, it's still gonna take a couple hits, darn it. So it puts you at that position where if you're going to be cussing, oh, nice, you just burned him down. Ah, it's a lot of guns. Quick heals, okay, go. Ooh, it's a tank bot, it's a tank bot, it's a tank bot. Oh, hey, you just charged me. Let's try out those uh, new, that's the bottle cap mine, 301 that I talked about. Push grenade, pulse mine. Boop! Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Can I hit that? I can. Clo oh, I fell down. Jump, attack. No, I can't do that. All right, well, we'll just back up a little bit. And uh, hold on, let me select the pulse grenade. Bro. Boom. Ooh, that's working really well. Ow. Hit him real quick. All right, hit him again. He's gonna explode if I'm not careful. 
Quick heal. Hit again. All right. Level 20. All right, he's probably gonna explode, so let's back off. Whew, that coincided perfectly with, um... Oh, God, stop. Ooh, sentry head, that's pretty cool. All right, I gotta get up here. All right, I can reach it now. Oh, a little closer. <laughs> that knocked off so gently. Oh yeah, we're parried. I've got a ton of these. I don't even need to worry about saving them at all. I'm hearing like an alarm. Okay, I'm just making sure that it wasn't, uh, it was in game. That would be a little frightening to take off my headphones and be like, oh, that's my fire alarm. Gotta go, dudes. Like, so anyway, I thought that was a different robot. Anyway, um, so, but yeah, human brains will actually remember the, like, the, the bad words kind of thing because it goes primal. So you also have your primal behaviors come back. That's like why you don't forget how to breathe, but you do forget how to like make friends because that's a really difficult social construct. And so it takes the longest to return. Very interesting, sad thing. But you know, if you think about it, forgetting how to breathe would be significantly worse in the long run. And which is why, you know, they're so much more primal and so much more protected in a way. I don't think that was evolutionary. I think it was just people grew brains on top of uh, the original primal thought processes and so it just sort of became that you know like oh on the out front is where my personality is and on the inside is where I want to have sex and stuff like that all right which it's interesting talking about this while running around with a bunch of robots because these robots don't really s experience the same you know like that was mini nukes that's pretty cool they don't really experience the same instincts that, you know, as humans would. Like, this robot apparently does experience, or excuse me, Ada seems to experience so much duct tape. This is the greatest place ever. Seems to really experience a lot of human emotion, uh, which, as she wrote it, might not actually be useful. And I can understand, ooh, armor workbench. And I can understand that thought process. I mean, if you could imagine suddenly going from being able to feel nothing for when something bad happened to you, you know, and then you can just move on and be, do the next efficient thing, it would feel safer and happier and easier to survive and just kind of like easier in general to live a life like that. So, access port. There we go. So, I could understand her wish to losing her creative mindset. Um, but we've actually evolved to have these creativities and stuff because it turned out that that was the best thing to do. So I guess we're gonna run into a bunch of robo brains that were locked up. That explains how the mechanist got so many of them though. It's because they were locked up in here. All right, I'm guessing that this is where the fight happens and that this is sort of the, the door you leave from after the fight occurs. More of that general good Bethesda design where they have, they, they minimize you having to do backtracking, which is really nice because it would suck to have to walk through this entire place again, unless you know you left some items that you wanted to go up and pick up again. Okay. I love all these doors. But this this door seems really over the top when this is the only door that's preventing me from going through here. I feel like they don't need to put that much effort into that. Take like an extinguisher, sure, why not? So much just random junk laying around in these areas. I'm liking it, it's good. It's getting me all that wonderful adhesive that I need. Speaking of adhesive, there we go. All right, is this fight time? Is right to fear people like you. People who have no respect for human life. Who only wish death or pain for those around them. That is why I, the Mechanist, have made my solemn vow to protect the innocent. To put an end to people like you. I swear, it's like playing with a baseball and a baseball bat when you hit these. Also, with the behavior of the mechanist, I think uh, I've heard from a couple people uh, that apparently you can skip the entire fight. A hey, legendary junk bot. So, which makes me imagine that I, I talk my I might be able to just talk my way through and not actually have uh, a fight quite the um, the same way that it's been before. All right, we turn the legendary uh, junk bot into our buddy. So that's gonna be pretty fun. I love how they. Ooh. All right, is there somebody you know that you're gonna go after? Doesn't seem like it, so let's just kill him. 
Lucky shadowed metal left arm. Plus two. Oh! That blew off both my, ow! That blew off both my legs. Oh God, this could be pretty, this could be pretty rough. Um, wow. That took all my health too. Holy crap. This is a, uh, that was problematic. That was really problematic. That's a lot of protection that we just lost. Oh, crud. Um, wow. That's a lot of protection we just lost. Okay, it's like my pants just got blown off. It was so amazing. She blew my pants clear off. And then I got plus two luck. It was sweet. And, uh, do you have any new pants? Because I'm about to get into another fight and I need pants. Indeed. Okay. Shotgun shells, turpentine, too much to run. That's cool. Let's, uh, go ahead and check out the Epsilon. What a waste. Almost for a month now and I'm already getting bored. I thought it would be exciting to sign up and work for the robotics program, but then I almost quit. Power substation A? Four years of electrical engineering and they made me babysit a bunch of generators? That's interesting. After talking to Sharply during my smoke break, I thought of a way to turn my isolation into an advantage. Bending company reckons I can make it if I stick one of his cigarette machines down here. All the way to service, they're out for smokes and give me an excuse to say hi to any of the ladies that happen to wander in to purchase some. <laughs> Goddamn genius. That machine into my substation just to have a few banks over at substation B start complaining about the smoke. First I thought I was just jealous that all the ladies have been hanging around me new cigarette machine during their smoke breaks. He showed me all his cars when he told me he's going to lodge a formal complaint with Delano. If I don't make him happy, he doesn't care about the smoke. Sneaky little thief just wants a cut of the cigarette sales. I might have to pay him off to keep the brass off my back. Finally got official approval to keep the cigarette. <laughs> well done, dude. You just surprised the person. I'm sure the free cartons that found their way onto the general's desk may have had something to do with it. Can't do a damn thing about it, and he isn't getting a single penny. Looks like the electrical engineer just came out on top for once. Well, I'm happy to hear that, but uh, you're certainly in a weird spot nonetheless. Yo, Ada, I got a lot of stuff to give you. All right, dudes, I think that's pretty good. We should be fighting the Mechanist next episode, whether we slip by him or whatnot. There, w I've heard that they're actually after missions, too, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, so let's go and get this stuff done. Thank you so much for being here. It's a total joy to have you. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. Hit the subscribe button underneath me. And, of course, may the ground rise be at your feet. Wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.